Hello! The main objective of this video is to show the two main fluid dynamics equations when working with perfect fluids. To do that, we will start by introducing what perfect fluids are, then we will define the flow, and then we will arrive to the two main equations as said, the continuity equation and the Bernoulli equation. Let's start then by defining what a perfect fluid is. We are considering that fluids are incompressible, which means that the density is constant. Also, perfect fluid is a fluid where the effect of viscosity can be neglected. Let's say we are considering the fluid as if the viscosity does not exist. This is just a simplification, obviously, but it leads us to a very simple expression of the equations to be working with. Before we arrive to the equations, we should define the flow of the fluid, which will be represented by Q, which is the volume of fluid passing through a section per unit time. Then, making this simple calculation, considering the volume to be section times length, and using the definition of space related to velocity, we can simply do that change. So, finally, the flow, defined as volume per unit time, is equal to velocity times section. And the units for the flow are cubic meters per second. With this definition of flow, we are going to see the first equation, which is the continuity one. Continuity equation comes from the continuity of the mass. So, the idea is quite simple. If there are no mass losses between two surfaces in, in a conduit of a fluid with different sections, then the flow has to be the same. If we consider that the flow is the same through the two different sections, then what we, we obtain is that product of velocity cross-sectional area which stays constant. This is the continuity equation. And it's very useful to calculate different velocities of the fluid in different sections of the pipes. On the other hand, we have the second fundamental equation which comes from the energy conservation. When we work with fluids, the energy conservation is still valid as it is in solids with a small difference in the contribution of the total energy. We have three different contributions to the total or mechanical energy. The first component is the kinetic energy which has to do with the velocity. The second one is the potential energy that has to do with the height of the point of the fluid. And the last one, which is specific for fluids, is the one uh, which is related to the static pressure. Then, considering these three components or these three contributions, we can say that the total energy has to be the same in two different points of a conduction, and this turns to be that equation, the sum of the three terms related to velocity, height and pressure. This is known as the Bernoulli equation and is very useful for fluid calculations of velocities or pressures. But from the point of view of practical calculations, we are not using the Bernoulli equation that way, but one of these two ways. Just simply dividing by, by the volume, the Bernoulli equation turns to be that one which is expressed in terms of pressure. And also, if this equation is divided by density gravity, then the dimensions change to uh, length to meters. So this is the Bernoulli equation again, but expressed in terms of height in meters. Let me sum up before we finish. When we are working with perfect fluids, meaning they are incompressible and we are not considering the effects of viscosity, we have two fundamental equations, the one coming from the conservation of mass, which is the continuity equation, and the one coming from con conservation of energy, which is the Bernoulli equation. Thank you.